Today, we'll be discussing long vertical spreads and how to trade them within Webull. We're going to start by learning what they are, how they work, and then of course how to actually place them within here. I've also added my affiliate link down below for Webull, so if you do decide to open up an account for yourself, using that link will get us both a few shares of stock completely free. But like I mentioned at the beginning, we are going to be learning about long vertical spreads, which is the simultaneous buying and selling of options at different strike prices, but on the exact same expiration. We're then going to use this type of trade to bet on the direction of the stock, but we won't have to put up near as much capital compared to just a long call or long put. Now, I promise you that'll make a lot more sense in just a few minutes, but for now we are going to have to pull up an option chain. Now within Webull, the option chain can be added to pretty much any screen within here by simply accessing the widgets menu up here in the upper right hand corner, looks like a little briefcase icon. Then within that menu down below, if we find the quotes section, we can then find and add the option chain by simply clicking on it. That will then open up an option chain directly here in the center of the screen, and then I could actually drag and then drop that option chain wherever I wanted it. But in my case, I've already got one on my chart right now, so I'm going to go ahead and delete this one by coming up here to the little menu icon, and then coming over to the right and removing the option chain. Let me also come over here and delete the add widgets menu so we can just clean up our screen a little bit. And if we now come back over here to the far left, you can see I've got a nice big option chain right over here, and at the moment I've got Google pulled up. Now jumping right in explaining what it is we're actually looking at here, if we first look over here on the left hand side, the very first thing you're going to notice is all of the expiration dates for Google listed right down here below. So looking here at the top, we can see it begins at 12 May of 2023 and goes all the way out to 17 January of 2025. If you were to look to the right of that actual expiration date in the center column here, we can see the number of days until expiration. So in the case of 17 January, that is 622 days from today. And if we were to come back above, and let's just say I wanted to open up, we'll just pick 16 June for now. If I go ahead and click on that, we can then see a nice little list of the available strikes for that expiration right here in the center. So beginning here at the $98 strike and going out to $117.5. If you wanted to expand that strikes menu a little bit further, maybe you wanted to see a little bit further out of the money for Google, we can always come up here to the strikes menu in the upper left hand corner where it currently says 10. And by clicking on that, we can either select in the list below how many strikes we wanted to see, or we could just type in the number right down here at the bottom. So in my case, I'm going to throw in 14 and hit select. And now coming back over here to the center, if I scroll down a little bit, we can now see a couple more strikes have been added. And now I can see out to 97 and all the way up to 122 and a half. Now you probably already noticed, but if we were to look to the left of those strikes, you're going to find all the call options. Whereas looking to the right, we can find all the available put options. You can also see at the top of the option chain all of these column headers up here actually telling us what information is being displayed down below. So currently I'm just looking at the Greeks for each of these contracts. I'm looking at the Vega, Theta, Gamma, Delta, and then the current price of the option right now, the current bid and asking price. But besides what it is you're looking at down here, when you actually decide which option you want to trade or which one you want to buy or sell, it's actually pretty straightforward. Whenever you want to buy an option, you're going to click on the asking price. Whenever you want to sell an option, you're going to click on the bid price. Now in our case today, since we're doing long vertical spreads, we're doing something more complicated than just buying or selling a single leg at a time, there are a couple different things we have to do. And there are essentially two different ways that we can go about creating a vertical spread inside of here. If we begin with the first method, we're going to start by coming down here to the option chain and simply clicking on the ask of the option that we want to buy. So just for example's sake, let's say we were bullish on Google. We thought Google was going to go up in value. In this case, we're going to be looking at buying a call option, and let's just say I wanted to buy slightly out of the money. So right here I'm looking at the 110 call, which is currently going for 211 by 257. Since I'm bullish and I want to buy that call option, I'm going to go ahead and start by clicking on the asking price right here, $2.57. You'll then see that as soon as I clicked on that, it actually built out an order ticket right down here below to just outright buy that 110 call. 
Now, if that was all I was doing, this is where I would then fill out how many contracts I wanted to buy, what price I was willing to pay, and then I would just hit place order down here below to actually place it. But in our case, that's not all I want to do. I don't just want to buy this option for $2.57. I want to turn this into a long vertical call spread to reduce how much money I have to put up for it and also hedge against volatility contracting. So in order to do that, we're going to come over here to the strategy button over here on the far left hand side of the order ticket where it currently says single option. By clicking on that, it'll actually open up a menu of all the different spreads that we can do within here. In our case, we're going to come up above and find and click on the one that says vertical. You'll then see down here below, it actually builds out a vertical spread for us automatically. You'll see at the very top, it first tells us what we're about to do. We're about to create a vertical spread. We're going to be buying the 110, selling the 112 and a half, and we're going to be doing it for a total cost of 70 cents. So right off the bat, that's going to be far less expensive than just outright buying the call option for 257 bucks. Now we're only going to be paying 70 cents for this spread. Although we do max out our max profit, we put a limit on our potential profit. But right here, it tells us exactly what we're about to do. So on the top line, we've got the overarching trade itself. We've got it right here telling us we're about to do a vertical call spread. And then right down below that, it actually tells us each individual leg as well. So right here, leg one is buying the 110, leg two is selling the 112 and a half. But let's actually say we wanted to adjust that a little bit. We didn't want to do the 110 by 112 and a half. We wanted to adjust the strikes a little bit. So to do that, we're going to come up here to this little menu, which currently says 110 by 112 and a half, and go ahead and click on that. That will then display a list of the available spreads that we could do. So currently it says 110 by 112 and a half, what we're currently doing. But I could actually move that to 112 and a half by 115, or 115 by 117 and a half. You can see a nice long list of all the different strikes that we could adjust it to. You'll also notice down here at the bottom, we've got the width of the strikes right down here below. So it's currently saying I want to do a two and a half point wide vertical spread. So if I wanted to adjust that, I could come here below and let's say I wanted to move that to five points wide. So now looking up here above in the list of available strikes, you'll notice that each of these is five points apart from the original one. So here you can see if I were to click on this one where it says 58 by 63, that means I would be buying the $58 call and selling the $63 call on top of that. Since Google's currently trading for about 106, so let's go closer to the current price of the stock. Let's scroll down quite a bit. And for now, let's say we wanted to do a 110 by 115. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that one. And now that I've adjusted the spread, we can also see over here on the right, the cost of the trade has also been adjusted as well. So now if I were to buy this 110 by 115 call spread, I'm going to be paying $1.28 for it. Now to see a little bit more information about this spread before we place it, maybe we wanted to see the risk profile. We wanted to see exactly how much we could make, exactly how much we could lose. We could always come down here to the lower left-hand corner and hit this little graph icon. Now clicking on that graph is going to show us our risk profile. So this is how much money we can make in the best case scenario. This is how much we could lose in the worst case scenario. You're also going to see our trades themselves are in this little hexagon right here. So right now we're buying the 110 call and we're selling the 115 call. And what this is telling us is our max profit is going to be if the stock of Google is above 115 on expiration, we stand to make 372 bucks. If instead we're wrong and Google is actually below 110 on expiration, we stand to lose $128. So that's going to be our max loss as well as our max profit. We could also adjust the strikes right here if we wanted to by simply clicking and dragging left or right wherever we want to adjust those strikes to. And now if I were to let go, you can now see our risk profile has adjusted as well. Because now what I've done is actually moved this spread pretty far out of the money. I've now adjusted it up to 117 and a half. So now in order to buy this spread, it's only going to cost us 39 bucks which also translates to our max loss because the absolute most amount of money we could lose on this long vertical is the price that we pay for it up front. Now, in the event that we're right and Google actually moves up significantly, let's say it goes up above 122 and a half a share by expiration, we actually stand to make $461 on this trade. But again, that's going to be the first method on how to place a long vertical spread within here. 
if we were to come back down here and delete this spread out of here, let's go ahead and go over the second method next. Now the second method is actually by coming up here to the upper left hand corner of your option chain where it currently says single, meaning all we want to do is place a single option trade at a time and instead click on that. And we're going to come down here below and find the spread that we want to create. In this case, a vertical spread. You'll now see that right here in the center of the screen, it actually builds out a vertical for us. So right here, it's saying this would be the 100 by 105 call spread. This is the 102 and a half by 107 and a half. 105 by 110, and you'll notice that each of these has a five point wide spread. The reason for that is because of my width up here in the upper left hand corner is currently set to five points wide. If I were to change that, let's say I wanted to make it 10 points wide instead, looking back down in the center of our screen here at the strikes column, we can now see that each of these is now 10 points wide. Here I'm going to be buying the 105 and selling the 115, or here I'm going to be buying the 100 and selling the 110. And now what it's doing is it's actually doing the math for us over here on the left. So right here, it's telling me if I were to actually buy this 100 by 110 call spread, it's going to cost me 669. If I were to go out a little bit further out of the money and buy the 105 by 115, that one's only going to cost me 415. Or if I completely change my mind and I'm now bearish on Google, I think the stock is going down. I could instead come over here to the right and look at the put options. So here, if I were to look at this 105 by 115 put spread, it looks like this one's going to cost me 685. Or if I were to buy the 100 by 110 put spread, it's going to cost me 455. So let's say I did want to do that one. I think Google is going to have a huge move down. I think it's going to be below $100 a share by the 16th of June. So I want to buy this vertical spread. So to do that, we're just going to click on the current asking price, 455. You can then see right down here below, it builds out the vertical spread just like before. Right here, it says we're putting on a 100 by 110 put spread. And in total, it looks like if I were to buy it at the current mid price, it's going to cost me $3.95 per spread. So because an option contract represents 100 shares, one vertical spread is going to cost me 395 bucks. You can also see right down here below, it does specify exactly what we're doing. It's saying leg one is going to be selling the 100 strike put, while leg two is actually buying the 110 put. If I wanted to take a look at that risk profile, we could come down here to the graph in the lower left. And now right up here above, we can see our risk profile is very different than on the call spread. So now it's telling me I actually want Google to go down in value. And if Google is below $100 a share on expiration, I actually stand to make $605 on this spread. If instead I am wrong and Google is actually above 110 on expiration, on the worst case scenario or in the worst case scenario, the most I could lose is $395 for this vertical. You can also see if we were to bump this up, let's say I wanted to do five of these instead of just one. Coming back over here to the left, we can see our max profit is now $3,025 whereas our max loss is about 1975 bucks. But again, that's how you're going to place vertical spreads within Weeble. And when the time eventually comes to close out those verticals, you're just going to be doing the exact opposite. So if you bought the vertical to get into it, you're just going to sell it to get out of it. And in general, I would really recommend you close out these spreads before expiration. I would not take the risk of holding them through expiration and then getting pinned where the stock is between your two strikes. Because in that case, you actually stand to get assigned the stock or, or exercise your position, and you don't really want to end up with shares of stock. So I would really recommend you just close it before they expire. But hopefully that helps. I know it was a lot of information, but you should be a little bit more comfortable now within Weeble and how to trade vertical spreads within here. There's a lot I only cover briefly, so if you are looking to learn more, consider checking out one of these videos next. You might find it helpful as well. Otherwise, have a great rest of your week, and I'll catch you on the next one.